What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another action figure review video. And as you can see, I've got old man Logan, old man Hawkeye. Let's open them up and check it out. That's right. Check out this amazing two pack. Uh, this right here as soon as I, when I first saw this getting released, um, I knew it was something I wanted. Um, I just, I, I completely just dug both of these figures. Uh, and I just, I just, I just knew I had to add them to my collection. But first and foremost, let's take a look at the box right there. I mean, the, the box presentation alone on this is amazing. In, in my opinion, I love this new uh, color scheme they're going with with these legends. Um, it's just, it's on point. I mean, I, I've, I've got no complaints. Uh, the back of the box, I think, is even better. Uh, this is something that is almost like an art piece in a way. I mean, look at the graphics for Hawkeye and Logan here. I mean, this is like legitimately really amazing artwork i mean this is um, it's just awesome um i don't know i've actually considered taking these and cutting them out and i mean you could frame these if you wanted to that's how great they are on this side of the box we got old man hawkeye on the other side of the box we got logan right there and that's that's such a classic look right there um this two pack is it's full. It's full of not only figures and accessories, head sculpts, hands. I mean, there's just tons of stuff in here. So, first things first, let's get it out of the uh, the box. We'll take a look at the uh, figures and everything in the clamshell, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, I also wanted to make a note of the back card in the box. This is actually a really nice uh, background piece. So definitely hang on to the box for, for this, this set of figures. Don't, don't just trash the box. The box is actually worth hanging on to 100% uh, in my opinion. Uh, in the clamshell right there they are. Again, you've got Old Man Hawkeye, Old Man Logan. We got a little baby Hulk right there, but just tons of stuff. So I tell you what, let me get everything out of the clamshell. Uh, you guys don't need to hear that noise, and we'll be right back, and we'll we'll take a look at everything. All right, so you can see I got them out of the clamshell, and right off the bat, uh, for the price point, I truthfully don't think you can you can beat this two pack. It has an amazing amount of stuff with it. Uh, but let's, I tell you what, before we actually look at the figures, let's take a look at some of the uh, accessories. First and foremost, we got Baby Hulk right there. <laughs> this is actually, um, it's very interesting looking. Sort of has like a little 50s hairstyle right there. You know, got the duck bill. Got his pacifier. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty it's it's actually pretty cute. I actually sort of dig this one. Um, we do have two uh, alternate head sculpts. Uh, old man Logan right there. We got his head sculpt without the hat, and we also have the one with the hat. But the thing I noticed is this one has the center cut out, and this one has a full beard, which I thought that was a little um, interesting. I would have. I would have assumed both of the head sculpts would have been the same with the facial hair. So that was uh, interesting. Uh, the alternate head sculpt for Old Man Hawkeye is right here. I actually dig this one a lot. Full beard, got the sunglasses, got a ponytail. Uh, with this one here, uh, still has the full beard. I will say this, the beard on the ponytail version is actually slightly longer in length so uh maybe if i had hair and a full gray beard and sunglasses i might be able to be old man hawkeye i don't know 
Uh, let's see what else we got here. We do have an alternate pair of hands. And these are uh, grasping style hands, which I'm assuming these hands go with uh, Old Man Logan. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you. Uh, I, they, they could go, I think, with either figure. So it might be more of alternating either figure. Uh, if you know, definitely leave me a comment. Let me know what you what you think. But uh, it's a left and a right. It's the same style. It's more of a grasping style uh, hands, which if you're going to be holding, you know, maybe Hulk, maybe, I, I, I don't know. But uh, I thought that was a little interesting that we only had uh, the one singular pair of alternate hands. So, but that's pretty much it. Lo Old Man Logan doesn't have a lot going on as far as accessories go. Um, you know, we'll, we'll get more into that here in just a second. Old Man Hawkeye, we definitely have uh, the quiver of arrows. I will say this, the one thing, I wish that this would have been um, a different color than just all black. Uh, the quiver the arrows, everything's black, so there's no distinction right there. Parts of me sort of wishes the quiver might have been brown. And I think with the little modifications, because if you look at it, there's some little strap detail right there. I think with a little bit of paint, we might be able to jazz this thing up a little bit. Uh, he does come with two bows. We have... The compound bow right here that's already pre-done, pre-loaded with an arrow. Um, I do have sort of an issue with uh, with this type of setup. Not necessarily the arrow being in the drawn position. It's the arrow itself. It is, it's just too over-exaggerated as far as size. The broad head is way too big. This quiver and quills, or excuse me, quills, they don't match the arrows that's in the quiver. And again, I'm a little nitpicky right now, but the the quills that are in the arrows uh, in the quiver, they're actually more proportionate correct. So that's a little bit of a, a disappointment. Let me just put it to you that way. And also the strings themselves, they're, they're too big. They're too thick. Um, for bow strings, um, again, I'm just I'm nitpicking uh, as an adult. That's that's what it is. Uh, the other arrow that he comes with is a more recurve style bow, and if you notice the string on this one, it's it's a little big, but it's not near as thick as what's on the compound bow. I think if we would have went with this diameter of uh, plastic here, I think it would have looked better. And also if this was black string instead of the silver, um, because with it being a lighter color like this, it just, it sticks out like a sore thumb, uh, in my opinion. Um, one of the other things that I noticed that I was uh, wondering about is compound bow, recurve bow. Now, the bow and the arms are identical, but little subtle differences, but there's, there's no compound wheel on this one. Um, I sort of wish that they would have made this, the compound bow look the same because right now I'm just trying to wrap my head around why old man Hawkeye has two different bows. Uh, but, as of right now, I prefer this bow over this one uh, just for aesthetics. I think this one will look better in his hand. And parts of me wish that they had at least one arrow that was separate um, out of the, 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 the quiver here. That's, I think that would have been a nice touch. Had the bow in one hand, having him holding an arrow, I think would have been great. Um, but since we're over here, let's go ahead and talk about old man Hawkeye. I'm going to push his accessories up a little bit. The figure itself is, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's a good looking figure. The detail, 
uh, everything, the weathering, it looks great. Um, even the, the hair flowing, I was a little on the fence when I first saw it. And I was like, eh, you know, but uh, I dig it. Everything looks great on it. The detail in the pants, the boots, I love um, the, the silver on the belt. The fact that he has this, this bag right here is, is really nice. And also this little shoulder harness that pretty much doesn't do anything except just look good on the figure. Uh, articulation wise, this figure should have some great articulation. Uh, as you can see, shoulders, you just can't beat that. Uh, it does have a bicep uh, swivel. Let's see what it is if it's I mean double jointed elbows that is such a great great thing especially for a figure like this uh, we do have a quite a bit of a gap um, separation in the elbow but I can I can live with that uh, he does appear to have an ab crunch which is very nice so he can actually look up quite a bit uh, I dig that. Got a swivel in his waist, which honestly, that's the thing I'm really digging a lot with this figure is a lot of times when you get the waist swivel, there's a big gap right here of separation. And this one, it's not, it's not bad at all. It's just slight. So it doesn't, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad at all. As far as his hips goes, that is about it for the hips, which again, Nothing wrong with that. We do have a thigh swivel. All right, let's check out his let's check out his knees. All right, that's that's good. There's nothing wrong with that at all. As far as his ankle goes, he's got a good good ankle pivots. I mean, it lays flat down. And coming up, not bad at all. Uh, Toe pivot would have been good, but let me show you this right here. And I thought this was neat. The going down the boot, you really can't see the separation for the ankle. It it flows really good into it. So Hasbro, good job on that. But right there's Oh man Hawkeye right there. Boom. And again, he does come with an alternate head sculpt, and I might use this head sculpt a lot. I like this head sculpt a little bit more than uh, than the one here, but again, the detail on the head and the hair, I mean, it's it looks great. So there's definitely uh, a place for it. I just don't know in my world where that'll be yet. Now, as far as old man Logan, um, First and foremost, you guys know I am not a big fan of uh, plastic uh, capes or anything like that. This is actually um, not bad uh, as far as his jacket goes. It's a lot more form-fitting, so it actually looks pretty good. Uh, if we look around the back, we got lots of damage to it. Uh, it's wet. It's not really weathered, but it's torn, tattered and torn, which I dig that. Uh, the hat is nice. It's actually torn as well, but look at the, the stitch work and everything on the back of this. I mean, it, it just looks great. Um, I have noticed that one of my claws may actually, I mean, it's, it's really bad loose right there. I may have to put a little bit of some super glue on that. I mean, look at this. It's, I'm, I mean, it's, it's way loose. So I'm about to be careful with that. Um, they, they actually came sort of bent. So, uh, yeah, if you get this, definitely be careful with the claws when you first get it out of the box. Now, shoulder articulation. I'm not expecting much because of the way this duster style jacket is coming down over the shoulders, but let's take a look. 
you know what? Considering what he's wearing, um, I can't complain with that. I, I mean, that's that's good considering what he's wearing. As far as his actual articulation on his elbow, it should be relatively good. Doesn't go up near as much as uh, old man Hawkeye here, but I, that's due to the fact of this where it touches right here. But it's still very good articulation. He got a bicep swivel, which is great. So yeah, we're 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 good. We're good on the articulation on the upper body. Nothing wrong with that. Hips wise, once again with the jacket, I don't think we're going to get a lot. But let's uh, let's see here. The right leg will come out pretty good, but I don't know. That's not bad, considering the jacket. That is not bad at all. Can't really complain with that uh, amount of range of motion. As far as his knees goes, let's see what we got going on here. Should be, oh yeah, I'm going to actually put him sideways there. So can't go wrong with that. I will say this, the jacket um, does interfere a little bit, but not bad. Not bad at all. No complaints. Uh, ankles, got a good up. Down, that's about it for there. Not near as much as Old Man Hawkeye, but I'm not complaining. We do have a waist pivot, which, again, if you notice, there's not a lot of gap or, or extra showing right there, which that's that works out great. This is cool. This is a cool figure. Uh, again, the coloring... And everything on him, the belt buckle, the jeans, everything looks really great on this on this particular figure. It's like I said, other than the claws right here, um, again, I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to have to darker them a little bit. Just a little, just a little super glue on a toothpick. And I think that'll take care of that, get them nice and straight the way they need to be but uh i will definitely tell you this be careful with the claws when you actually uh get him out of the box but yeah right there Let's see if i can get him to stand up i'll tell you what i'm uh i'm pretty happy with this so i'll tell you what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna put a, a bow and put the quiver and everything on old man hawkeye and uh, maybe swap out a head sculpt on Logan and we'll be right back and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so let's talk final thoughts about this amazing two-pack. So first and foremost, let's talk about Old Man Logan. The only complaint that I have is with the claws. These are very delicate. Um, they, they will not survive i'm i'm just going ahead and telling you right now if you mess with these too much they will come out i'm going to put a little bit of super glue on them just to see if i can reinforce them but they you know when you try to separate them and mess with them you can just feel how loose they get so and it might be just mine but anyway that's what I'm planning on doing with uh, with these. I went ahead and put on the other head sculpt for both figures. Uh, me personally, I really dig the hat uh, head sculpt. Um, it's uh, it's it's just neat looking. It's it's very cool. Um, the hands that the one extra pair of hands that it comes with, uh, again, as you can see, it works pretty good for holding on to the bottom of Baby Hulk, but uh, that's that's about it. Um, yeah, it works. And again, just right now, the biggest complaint I've got is with uh, Old Man Logan's claws. They, that's, that's probably some of the worst 
uh, claws I've seen on either a Wolverine figure or anything like that as far as just feeling very unstable. So, as far as Hawkeye goes, I went ahead and swapped out his head sculpt. And I went ahead and put this bow on because I wanted you to see what I was talking about, about proportions with the bowstring and the arrow and everything. And if you're going to have black arrows in the quiver, have a black arrow in the bow. And if you're going to have one bow with a black bowstring, have this one with a black, black bowstring. Uh, now, my biggest complaint with this is this bow, it rests pretty good in his hands. And that's because the string rests on top of the thumb. Now, what I discovered was if you use this other bow, let me get it flipped around. It does not fit in the hand as good. Um, it's actually sort of weird how it fits. So I don't know. I don't know. It's um, the the hand the hand grip for the bow is not wide enough. You can see right there, and no matter how you turn it, his hand is too large for the uh, the grip. So it, it doesn't rest naturally. And I don't know. You can get it in there, but if you notice how much further his hand is down from the actual grip of the bow. Um, I have bow hunted before. I used to be an, uh, an avid bow hunter. And I can tell you that is completely wrong. <laughs> it is. No, that's. That's uh, that's like a, a child grip. Uh, the only other problem I have with this figure, his other hand here is a bow drawing hand. I wish personally that it would have been a, um, he would have had a pistol hand because I would love to be able to put a, a pistol in his hand. I know he's old man Hawkeye and he shoots a bow. Um, so yeah. The only other little nitpicking thing I'm going to talk about is the fact that I did bow hunt and you've got this arm guard right here, this wrap on the arm. If this is supposed to be from getting from not getting a uh, string burn, it's on the wrong arm. It should be on this arm because when you're drawing the bow, this arm is what the string will scrape, uh, scrape up against. So, Again, I'm nitpicking. It's all I'm doing. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm digging it. I'm I'm loving this figure. Um, if I had to pick between the two, Old Man Hawkeye, I think is the better of the two. Uh, I think his head sculpts and detail just looks great. But the two pack as a whole is wonderful. So definitely let me know in the comments if you pick these up. Let me know what you think. Also, let me know about your your claws. Are they loose uh, in the hands? But, uh, guys, that's it. That's it for this unboxing. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If this is your first time to my channel, please make sure and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you got notifications turned on. That way you'll know when I drop videos. And always remember, toys refresh your soul. And I'll see you next time.